Hi everyone, welcome to day seven of Vlogmas and more giveaways, more excitement on the channel. Today I've got an episode all about brand new patterns for the month of December. I think you're going to really enjoy that. So I'm going to take you through that and at the end of this episode we are going to draw out of my advent calendar day seven's little door and see exactly what we have to be given away more fantastic prizes from some great fabric stores here in Australia. I'm enjoying a nice little cool beverage out here. It's really nice under this tree. It really helps with the hot day. The leaves are so refreshing and so cooling. So it's a nice little nook. I tend to sit out here and do a little bit of uh, thinking if I get any quiet time. But I think it's a perfect spot to present to you today's episode. And I've got my advent calendars here ready to show you exactly uh, what I've got and my little doors. I have a very Aussie Christmassy tradition here and this is a pun of the cherries. Now in Australia of course cherry season is smack bang right on Christmas time so we always tend to have a nice bowl of cherries on the table and maybe decorate um, desserts, have flavours with cherries and all sorts of berries. They are really perfect um, and beautifully in season at the moment. These are Wandon uh, cherries so they're a little bit more pink and maybe not quite quite as ripe as uh, some of the ones more towards the end of December will be um, but a little bit more on the sour side but really really tasty and really sweet um, so yeah cherries are very big in Australia as is the good old-fashioned pavlova which I intend on making for you guys and showing you exactly how I get my pavs perfect um, I was taught many many years ago from my mum and ha how to make a perfect pav and uh, there's a, quite a few really good recipes out there but people tend to decorate them differently depending on whether you want like fresh berries and fresh fruit or passion fruit or another tradition is to have um, peppermint crisp which is a lovely chocolate bar all grated up on top and it looks like green jewels on top so that's um, yeah, on top of the cream really special we tend to make a pav every Christmas and today I've got an Adrian blouse from Friday Pat Company this is a great little knit top with a very very statementy billowy sleeve and a gorgeous neckline so it's very easy to make and I think it's a really popular pattern and most of you would have probably made by now but highly recommend this pattern Let's get into the advent calendars first. Chockies from Coco Black. And I feel very naughty every time I open this. Um, day seven. Let me see. Day seven is right in the middle. What have we got today? This is <gasps> Bailey's. Oh, goodness me. My favorite. Uh, milk chocolate ganache infused with Bailey's original cream. Now, this, now this is going to be very decadent and having that bailey's infusion is going to be awesome with a cup of, maybe even a tiny glass of bailey's uh, on ice would be lovely to have with the bailey's chocolate we'll see carly in the machine labels we're getting through these we are up to day seven and it's the little house plant how cute is that let's see what we've got behind the door oh cutie you're a cutie and you're a cutie <laughs> cutie that's really cute I love it I love little tags like that just generic little tags and I like it when you can get a light colored tag if you have a light colored item of clothing you want to sew a tag and you don't want to put a dark colored tag just in case it's see-through so I will enjoy putting that into my face Next is my Adore Beauty calendar which I'm enjoying all the goodies in here some lovely things to spoil myself with day seven look behind the door here we're getting through these oh this looks very interesting oh 24 hour brow setter oh this looks great actually benefit is um yeah really good and i know one of my daughters loves benefit uh yeah so it's like a brow brush okay control your brow hairs yep Invisible shaping setting gel holds the brow in place and locks in the makeup so brows don't pull a disappearing act. Oh, the little the uh, packaging on that's really cute too. So that would be great to put into the makeup kit. It's really humid out here at the moment. My pet peeve is finding cherry pips all over the place. People put them on the table or on a plate and just leave them. I think put them in the bin really annoys me 
before I get on to the pattern releases for December, I want to show you some shoes that I bought. I was fairly well behaved in the Black Friday sales, but I did still buy a couple of pieces of fabric and a new pair of shoes, which I actually can't resist it when um, Diana Ferrari, uh, I love their super soft shoes and I wanted a in between a heel and a sandal and not too dressy, but not too cash. So something I could wear for both. If I wanted to put a really nice dress on, it will look dressy enough. If I wanted to put a pair of collots and a t-shirt on, I could still wear them. So whenever Diana Ferrari have a sale, sometimes they have buy one, get one half price, or this was 25% um, off on Black Friday. I always go for super soft shoes because I have a wide foot and I cannot wear cheap shoes anymore. <laughs> I really cannot bear anything too uncomfortable and I'm not a big heel wearer. I used to wear heels all the time to work and I just can't believe I could do that every day. I think when you're living in um, flats or thongs as we call them here in Australia, these are thongs, not the underwear. Uh, yeah, it's it gets a bit uncomfortable. I think shoes shouldn't have to be a painful experience. So if you're um, sort of person that maybe only buys one pair of shoes every year or every two years, get invested in a good uh, quality and the super soft brand, normal Dyna Ferrari brand are very narrow for me, but the super soft brand is nice and wide. So I'll show you what I bought. Um, I don't have any affiliates on these. This is just generally things that I like. This is the super soft wedge heel that I bought. And I think it's really nice and it's really, really soft leather, very, very soft uh, and nice arch support, nice cushioning on the feet and a really nice grippy sole. But I was looking at the Espadrille style, which uh, I love the look of that, um, but I wanted something a little bit dressier. I think these will work a treat and they'll be really nice with some of my summery dresses I'm planning to make up. Some of those linen prints as well link these in case any of you are interested uh, underneath in the description box but I uh, love super soft shoes it's the only shoe I know I can buy online I can purchase a size online and I know they will fit me without fail every time um, yeah so in the past I've bought hush puppies and sometimes they'll be mm, hit and miss with sizing so love that brand so we will be opening the calendar at the end of this vlog first of all I'm going to get through some patterns exciting patterns for the month of December. The first one I noticed that was released was a free pattern and that was the Helen's Closet Sam apron. Now this is a unisex apron. This would be a perfect gift to make for Christmas if you're wanting to make something maybe for your partner. This kind of generic unisex apron is really fantastic and very very practical and you can make it in uh, kind of hard wearing things like canvas, denims, like an oil skin I think would be great as well. So this is definitely something uh, excellent for a gift and size range and that is 0 to 34. The pattern just released. I really love this because I do love assembly line patterns. The assembly line have released uh, a tunic, a classic style tunic top. Now when I was looking for a tunic style top to have with a placement um, scene print, like a panel print that I didn't want to break up, I couldn't really find exactly what I was after. Now this, if this had been out at the time, I would have definitely thought about making it. It's got a beautiful mitered hem, higher front, lower back, very classic um, sort of angular shape, very, very modern looking, and I think very wearable, especially for trans seasonal periods. Yeah, assembly line patterns are really, really classic and very simple wardrobe basics to have. I just noticed that Tazuti have not only got one, but they've got two brand new patterns out that are very exciting and both definitely on my make to make list. The first is this Astra dress, which is absolutely fantastic. It's sizes 6 to 22. Very classic sundress, kind of almost reminds me of the 70s vintage style sundress. It's got this really unique knife pleat uh, front and back straight long line dress but with that kind of gather around the bottom very very classic but also that vintage styling to it as well and the pockets look absolutely beautiful very unique style pockets it's beautiful done with a contrasting um, top stitching as well so I think you know I think things like linens and cottons and denims chambrays would be absolutely perfect for the Astra dress and I love a good Tazuti pattern. I also love their new classic robe they've released. Beautiful classic um, robe kimono style um, to be used in their dressing gown. People have made them without the ties if they want to have like an over style shawl kind of jacket. I think that could work really well as well. Uh, size range on the Tazuti robe is 6 to 22 and they've showcased it in the most beautiful uh, printed linens. I think it looks just stunning. I'd also love to see that in something like a silk or a crepe de chine. 
I do lie before because I did say I didn't buy too much in the Black Friday sales, but I did go into Starlike's 30% off sale and I bought their brand new Maeve dress. Now you'll see from the pictures, this is a beautiful woven style dress with this really stunning um, pointed kind of front and you can loop that across the front and have like a little pocket on the side and it creates this gorgeous like waterfall drape styling to it. I just think this is absolutely beautiful. Dial like Maeve comes in sizes 0 to 30 and also they do now have a zero style patterns that you can order and print out yourself or even just buy the printed pattern. So loving the look of that Maeve and I just have to figure out what kind of fabric I want to use for that one. For you guys over in the Northern Hemisphere that want a nice warm Warm statement coat the trend patterns coat pick above is absolutely stunning it has a beautiful balloon shape sleeve absolutely gorgeous jacket and they've styled it in like a hot pink I've seen it in a hot pink wool it is stunning really modern styling and absolutely beautiful if you want to make a real statement this Christmas Imagine that in a sapphire blue or a nice emerald green, something really bright and colourful, but even a classic black coat would be fantastic to wear over a nice evening dress. And peppermint patterns, uh, they have a quarterly magazine that you know from Australia had some fantastic uh, environmentally friendly ideas and uh, some fantastic cooking, uh, gardening information. Also, they have free patterns each quarter. So peppermint have released a new pattern, which is the sky shorts. They look like a really classic style flat front i think they're elastic waist back short very very handy to wear for this time of year i think those kind of shorts are the ones that i would prefer to wear i love anything with a good flat front and nice elastic -y room at the back very practical looking so they are the new december patterns that i've come across i'd love to hear if you have found any new release patterns that um yeah you might like to mention and share with the viewers and without any further ado i am going to uh, open door seven of our advent calendar Day seven. Yes. And the sponsor for today's giveaway is the wonderful Fabric Hunt. Now, Cherie at Fabric Hunt is giving away a $100 gift voucher to a lucky viewer. You may remember I just bought some incredible Italia Jupe viscose rayon fabric with a beautiful hibiscus print. They have some gorgeous um, high-end brand fabrics and also some things like Lady McElroy fabrics, Italia Brunette fabrics. If I remember rightly, I actually bought this organic jersey fabric from Cherie at Fabric Hunt as well. So love her fabrics. She's very happy to help. And if you haven't popped onto her store over um, online there, I'll link it below and you can have a look at all of her beautiful fabrics she has coming in every week she has brand new fabrics and also think about subscribing to her newsletters because she does also have fantastic sales that are happening all the time lately and uh yeah follow her here on instagram as well to be kept updated with those sales so for a hundred dollar voucher please comment below why you would like to win that and maybe what fabric you'd like to buy if you if you did win it i'd love to hear your thoughts there also don't forget to hop onto instagram to see the daily winner announced over there and look out in case your comment is a winner you will see that i've commented underneath it and you can get into contact with me um, dallysociety at gmail.com so thank you for watching today i'm going to sit back and have a bit more of my drink and just plan up some beautiful sewing ideas with maybe some of these new december patterns that are coming out so we'll catch up with you tomorrow see you soon bye